Food. Good evening, everybody. Hello, Instagram. Hello, Facebook land. Hello, Hopper. All right, looks like we are live. There we go. Happy Thursday, everybody. Give everybody a chance to join in here. All right. So we hope everybody's doing well out there. Some people are chiming in here, trying to join the group. Okay. Instagram, Facebook. Let's see where we're at here. Live, live, live. Can't believe it. All right, so we are coming at you live from Northwest Swing Dance Company like page. We're not sure if you have heard the news. Big news here in Spokane, Washington. Uh, Christy and Cody Kerr of Strictly Swing Spokane have passed the baton over to uh, Jackie and I to continue things. Uh, Thursday evening swing is definitely going to continue, uh, but we just did a survey and there's all kinds of wants and needs to do more stuff outside of that, and we are ready to provide that for you. And uh, they want to take a little break from Strictly Swing and, uh, and kind of let that company, if you will, dissolve, and they're going to come back when they're ready. And we started the Northwest Swing Dance Company, so check out the like page, check out the groups, all that good stuff. As soon as we get through all the uh, social distancing stuff, we will get back to every Thursday at 7 o'clock, your class, followed by your social dance. But tonight, go online. There's a lot of musicians and live feeds of different bands and stuff like that, or there's a lot of cool Spotify uh, music lists and whatnot. So, um, okay, tonight's topic ba based on our local community's votes is going to be Balboa footwork. And <laughs> you're all the chatter in the back. That's kiddo throwing stuff around. Balboa footwork and Lindy Hop styling as well. And uh, Balboa footwork was actually the one that, that won the voting. But I also know there's a number of people that don't dance Balboa yet. We're going to change that. And uh, so I wanted to be mindful of those that just know Lindy Hop um, versus just an hour of Balboa footwork stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey, Autumn, can you grab Daddy's white shoes? I actually am sitting here realizing I forgot to put shoes on. Hey, at least I'm wearing pants, right? How about that? So Autumn, can you grab my white shoes? Bring them on over here, please. Okay. So uh, we're going to start with some basic footwork stuff, uh, the all-white ones, honey, the all-white ones, okay? Okay, uh, so we're going to start with some basic, basic Balboa footwork things. Now, even if you don't know Balboa, I encourage you to get up off the couch, get up out of your, your desk seat or whatever, and come over and, come on, honey, quickly. Thank you. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> I encourage you to get up and give this stuff a try, even if you do not have Balboa knowledge. So it's just movement at the end of the day. Um, partner dancing, you learn a basic rhythm, you learn some basic shapes, the leaders lead some shapes, and the followers follow some shapes. So we're going to go over some Balboa-ish type things. Won't you be, won't you be? Please won't you be my neighbor. All right, now that I have my shoes on. All right, feedback from previous live feeds. Um, white shoes are good on our dance floor here. And microphone in case I turn my back to you so you can hear me. And I'm going to just focus on the lower half on the feet since this is a footwork class. So uh, Instagram, sorry, I can't tilt my phone down any more than it already is. Okay, so here we are. So the first thing we're going to do with regards to some footwork is we're going to do a step that I call the single step. I'm going to turn around. Now, whether you're a leader or a follower, it doesn't matter right now. I want everybody to start stepping 
on the left foot. And we're literally just going to step. Boom. A five, six, seven, eight. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm literally just stepping. And as I'm stepping, I'm having a nice, soft bend in the knees. I'm really working the arches of the feet. But I'm not putting a Lindy Hop kind of pulse or bounce into it. All right? So I'm just taking these little steps on the floor, just a full eight count. All right, just kind of stepping through the arches of my feet. Let me turn this way so you can see this here. Now, I'm going to change the quality of movement on this. And instead of stepping through it, I'm going to shuffle through it. And hopefully you can hear that. If not, I'll make the noise. So now, what I'm choosing to do, what I'm choosing to do is to take my foot and instead of going step, 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 I'm shuffling back and forth. So shuffle, 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 shuffle. So whether it's right or left, I'm shuffling. Every day I'm shuffling into the floor. Again, it feels the same for me, quality of movement-wise, as far as like a nice pulse in my knees. The arches of the feet are really active. I'm in the front half of the feet. But again, I'm thinking about shuffling versus stepping. Shuffling versus stepping. And I'm, I'm purposely kind of hitting the floor so you can hear the stepping versus Okay, so this is our first um, footwork variation, if you will. Um, I call it a single step basic. Um, you, you are literally going to just step for the full eight count. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. And even within that, you can feel the difference between stepping and shuffling. So let's put a song on. I found a, a public domain song, uh, Swing Time in the Rockies is a public domain tune. So I'm going to play that really quick so we can kind of... Actually, that's a quick one. Let me see if I have another one. What's the other one I had that was... <gasps> is it Lindy, Lindy Hopper's Delight? Chick Webb. Ha! <laughs> okay, so we're going to do some Balboa to Lindy Hopper's Delight. Ironic, I know. But here we go. So let me put this song on. And now I want you to step with me and shuffle with me. If you're following, you can start on your right foot. You need to start on the left foot. We're just going to start with a step. And five, six, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step. 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 And now shuffle. To the step. I'm going to turn so you can see that from the side. Okay, now I'm going to shuffle. Now I'm going to step. Shuffle. Step. Shuffle. From the front, shuffle, step, shuffle, and step. Last angle, stepping, shuffle, stepping, shuffle. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, hopefully we don't get dinged for that on the music. Any questions so far? Um, not seeing any questions. Bop, 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 bop. Sent a request to be in your live video. Um, hey, Jackie, I think people are requesting to be part of the live video. How do I do that? On Instagram? Yeah. Ah, I don't know how to work Instagram. <laughs> so Jackie's going to come in and, and grab the phone for Instagram or figure something out here. Okay. Um, so when we think about the shuffling, uh, some people will say, like, they think about digging in to the ground, like 
in, in or down, down. Some people think about releasing back. Um, I was really trying to think about what I was focusing on when I was going in between the difference between stepping and, and shuffling. And for me personally, um, if, I want to go back. The, obviously, the song didn't change. The tempo didn't change. The tempo of my footwork did not change. But the quality of movement changed. Hey, how you doing, everybody? Kevin Van Meter, New York City. Stay healthy, my friend. I hope you're well. Man, if anything, this is like the coolest thing ever to see so many different people chiming in and, and looking in. So I hope everyone's safe and well. So again, quality of movement wise, tempo did not change. The tempo of my steps did not change, but how it felt changed. And so rather than just thinking about keeping my feet right underneath me and doing that pop, 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 I, I think about pulling, like pulling back. So when I step onto my, when I step onto my, and then for those of you who haven't been with me yet, the rolled up leg is the left. Lori, this is for you. Rolled up leg is the left, down leg is the right. Okay, so like, what is he doing with his pants? No, it's not a thing. It's just, I want you to see the difference between left leg and right leg. Okay, so when I, if I'm just stepping, right, you just like everyday normal stepping, you're just keeping your feet underneath you. But if you change that quality of movement, as I'm gonna step onto my left foot, I'm gonna pull that right foot back. But so it's, for me, it's like a little bit of both. I'm thinking about the back pull slightly, but I'm also, as I step with my left foot, I'm digging it more. Dig, dig and pull versus stepping under. Dig and pull versus stepping under. So again, this is our first variation, if you will, just taking an eight count single step and playing with how it feels stepping versus shuffling. And also you can play with how much you pull back with that single step timing. And this is a movement, I wouldn't call it a move so much as a, this is from Harry Berlin. You'll see footage of Harry Berlin and Ann Mills doing what he, what Ann called the kick around. Um, so this was a step that she really enjoyed because she always liked to show off her footwork and her, her heels. And, and so she did the kick around with Harry Berlin. He's the dude in the, he's usually like in all white. And you'll see footage, any old footage of Balboa dancing, you see Anne and, again, the guy, Harry Berlin, black hair, um, their feet are just kicking up, 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 up. They're like, shoot, 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 shoot. they're going around like this. So that's an extreme version of the single step, really kicking high on that. Uh, but for the sake of our class, we're just shuffling versus stepping, okay? Um, the last thing I want to mention as far as practicing on this is you can take a piece of paper or anything and like put it down on the ground and then you can try to work toward that paper. So you notice as I'm shuffling, I'm coming right to the edge of that paper. If I'm not very, oh, oh man, I'm not very precise and I start kicking the paper or you get too far away from it. So you just sort of work on it. And then over the years, you just practice this. I know I'm keeping my feet under me, but I'm shuffling it versus stepping. And I'm stepping right on the edge of the paper versus shuffling to the edge of the paper. What this also does for you, if you add this into your Balboa, is you can go wicked fast when it comes to just staying on one spot and going pop, 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 any tempo. You can take this and revolve around clockwise or counterclockwise. So again, this is our single step. Um, <laughs> can Walter take the class in his underwear? Absolutely. For other than me, clothing is absolutely optional. Until you go professional and live feed on Facebook, anytime clothing is optional. Okay. By the way, we do have a policy when we get back to dancing for, for Thursday evening swing, um, you do need to wear clothes. Okay. So, uh, hey, Lindy Hop Mendocino, excellent. I'm all about showing off my heels. Exactly, like, I got some sweet shoes, too. Like, um, I got some pimped out Eris Allens like, got, that got pinstriped by a, a friend of mine in Cleveland, Ohio, way back in the day. Those only come, up, come out in very rare occurrences. So, yeah, I'd be showing those off, too. Okay, so now 
I, I just want to play around with, for those of you that know Balboa now, this is going to be really easy. For those of you that don't, just bear with me for a second. We're going to keep doing the single step, but at some point we're going to add a hold. And I'm going to add a hold for now on three and seven. So check this out. If I'm over here and I'm just going to go do the footwork, I'm going to turn around. And, and since I did leader footwork before, I'm going to start on my right foot to be a, a, a follower. In general, followers start on the right, leaders left. But again, I encourage you to be ambifootress. So if I do single step, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? But now I'm just going to choose to hold on three and seven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And you'll notice when I hold, I have this little bit of a gather. So I'm not really stiff in the hold. I'm not going one, two, three, and like freezing up. Four, five, six, freeze, although that could be kind of fun. But if we want to keep the, the flow of the dance going, as I hold, I'm going to have this little sense of a gather. So check this out. Again, for those of you that are watching, I'm purposely going to start on my right foot on count one, I'm gonna do an eight count of single step, and then an eight count just choosing to hold three and seven. Five, six, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Watch that from the front. I'm gonna go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now again, if I want to step it, which is fine, I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hopefully you can hear. Right, so I don't know if you can hear that or not from how far the mic is, but um, I was purposely hitting the floor a little bit harder on those. Um, so the uh, dancing with the feet develops balance. Never confidence you move. Yep, yep, yep. Balls of the feet get that good balance. You always want to be solid, centered, and stable, no matter what you're doing. And so again, for Balboa, the quality of movement we're pulsing through the through the knees, slightly through the hips, but we don't have that Lindy. Lindy bend in our knees or Lindy bend in our, our hips. We're using the arches of the feet and we're working there. So we have our single step. We have our single step shuffling. We have our single step, but we're gonna choose to hold on three and seven. Now, a lot of you out there, if you've taken a Balboa class, that's typically where you start. The teacher will say, this is the Balboa basic. Step, step, hold, step, 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 hold, step. Fantastic. Another teacher might tell you, the basic footwork is step, 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 hold, step, 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 hold, or some people might call that break timing. So now I'm going to choose the step on three and seven, but I'm going to hold on four and eight. Did I do that right? Yeah. So I'm going to hold on four and eight. And again, this is just a timing thing. These are the basic rhythms of Balboa. We're not shaping it any way, shape, or form. We're just keeping it underneath us for the sake of tonight's lesson and working on some footwork. So check that out. So from the back, I'll go back to leader's footwork. I'm gonna start on my left foot. If you wanna start on your right foot, that's fine. I do the single step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm gonna to choose to hold on four and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to the single step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From the front, single step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, hold. Five, six, seven, hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step, 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 hold. Step, 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 hold. So now we have three fundamental footwork variations. Single step holding three and seven, holding four and eight. I'm gonna put a song on, and I'm not gonna call anything out. I encourage you at home to just kind of play along. If you just wanna watch my feet, I'm gonna go back and forth between single step, holding three and seven, and holding four and eight. So check that out. I lied, I think I'm gonna try calling it out in case you wanna go along with me. 
Hopefully the sound is synced up with the feet. So I'm gonna start with my left foot, and we'll start with a single step. Here we go. Now I'm gonna hold three and seven. Back to the single step. Now I'm going to hold four and eight. One, two, three, four. Eight, four, eight, four, eight, four, eight. Back to the single step. Holding three, holding seven, holding four. Holding eight, single. Holding three, holding seven, four, eight, single. Okay, so hopefully you were able to see those differences. Let's see. Uh, I see you have a little flick, a question on Facebook, have a little flick in your shuffle, like instead of having your feet completely squared off. Uh, yeah, again, that's kind of a little bit of a styling thing, like as I release, I have this little turn of my heels rather than thinking about keeping them straight. So that's just, uh, again, for me, I, I'm, not, I'm not thinking about like forcing that to happen. That's just kind of nat natural when I do that release. Um, so just kind of play around with that. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Man, it looks like there's been a lot of comments on I'm afraid to scroll through here because I might mess up. Oh, no, I can do it. Balls of the feet. Kevin, good to see you. There's a looks like a really good comment. Remember, I'll build slowly and you'll be great. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. So, um, yeah, if the tempo is too fast. Let me know, or if the music's too fast, or if I'm ever going too fast, chime in. But uh, okay, so there's our first few variations. Now, um, as you're dancing with a partner, now if you're lucky enough to be at home with somebody else and you're you're practicing this, um, there's a couple things you can work on um, when you have your Balboa connection. And go ahead and check out one of my um, one of my Balboa classes that we did last week about pure bal connection. Uh, the you can play a couple different games. You can be dancing together and have the leader Try to drive the different rhythmic choices and then as a follower try to feel the difference between Holding three and seven holding four and eight or single stepping through it then change the game have the followers change the footwork and leaders, you try to match up and sync up with, with your partner. Um, now, when you're actually dancing Balboa, it's not super, 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 super important that, that everything is synced up all the time. That's texture, that's style. That's the point of this class. We're going to get into some other footworks in a second that you can put in at any time. Um, but for the sake of this, this initial footwork, Try to sync things up, try to, try to be connected and together and feeling those different rhythms. At the end of the day, if somebody steps versus holds or holds versus steps, it's gonna sync up eventually and, and don't, don't overly stress about it as long as it doesn't feel too hug it, hug it, hug it in the connection, you'll be good to go. Retta, I am saying single step, not seagull step. I'm not in San Diego anymore. Just kidding. So um, no, single, sing, single, S-I-N-G-L-E, single step. I'm taking single steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, single steps. Uh, you cannot see the second variation. Okay, I'm gonna do this really slow. So from the back, and I'm gonna do followers footwork. Single step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Holding three and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Holding four and eight. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. And now back to a single step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That single seagull step. Okay. All right. So now let's play around with other variations. Um, I'm not going to get into so much about the shaping of the basic rhythms because uh, different people have different theories on that. So we're just really working on movement and moving our feet around. So the first variation I want to do is a long beach break. I'm going to say that again for Retta. Long beach break. Okay, long beach break. So a long beach break is um, it's holding around. So it's holding on four and eight. Okay. Um, well, okay. Let me let me describe this another way. Uh, whether you're a leader or a follower, you're going to mess with the right foot hold. Here's what I mean by that. If I'm a leader, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Or if I did the holding three and seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when the right foot is holding on seven or stepping on seven, Everything's been right underneath us so far. So again, from the leader standpoint, if I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I go back to a single step, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So for the leaders, this is this this long beach break is going to happen on count seven, eight. The long beach break for the followers is going to happen on three, four, because followers are going one, two three, four, so right foot, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. So your right foot hold is where we're going to mess with this footwork. Again, for followers, if you're counting and starting on your right foot in one, this variation will happen on three, four, and for leaders, this will happen on seven, eight. The long beach break is basically this. Instead of holding and stepping or stepping and holding, there's going to be a step and a kick, a step and a kick. And this is called a long beach break, step, kick, step, flick, step, kick. For followers, this will be three, four, and leaders, seven, eight. So watch one time if I do leaders footwork, I would go a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm choosing to hold on three and hold on seven. Those are the typical Balboa patterns. And instead of holding on seven, eight, I'm step and kicking. So watch, if I go do a basic Balboa, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to do the long beach break. Ha! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Let me do that from the back for the leaders. Basic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This time I'm going to do the long beach break kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So again, if I'm counting that for the leaders, one, two, three, four, five, six, step seven, kick eight. Then one, two, three, I'm back to the normal. Followers. You start with the right foot. So you would go a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From the back for the followers. A one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I do the long beach break kick. Five, six, seven, eight. So followers would have one. Two, step three, kick four, five, six, hold seven, step eight. All right, so I'm just using the basic Balboa patterns. So I'm stepping and kicking. So instead of doing a hold step or a step hold, I do a step kick or a step flick. Uh, Jackie, can I borrow you real quick? Sure. So you can see that with a partner. So, and again, what's neat about this is followers, you're going to do this on three, four step kick 
and leaders are going to do it on seven eight step case but jackie and i are, we're just going to do a basic and then we're both going to do the long beach break but you'll see jackie do it first on three four and then me on seven eight so we do a basic one two Four, now followers one, two, step three, kick four, leader five, six, step seven, kick basic two, three, four, five, six, seven, now five, followers six, step three, kick four, leader five, six, step seven, kick watch from this angle so you can see jackson's foot five six basic one two three four five six seven, now seven, followers two, long four, beach five, leaders six, seven, long beach basic Three, four, five, six, seven. Now followers, six, Long three, Beach, four, leaders, five, six, Long Beach. Yeah? So now you can see both footworks happening at the same time. So this is a, a variation where instead of just holding underneath you with the basic hold step or a step and a hold, you're making the, the rhythmic choice to do a step and a kick. A step and a kick. Is the camera mirroring? I don't think so. I oh man, there's always that question of like how it looks going back and forth between Instagram, Facebook. Let me see if there's any more questions here. I don't think the camera is mirroring. Um, whoop, there we go. Let me see. I don't know what happened to Instagram here. Okay, I hope you can still see me. I did something funky on my phone. I'm still learning how to do all this stuff. Okay, so once again, this is called a long beach break. And you choose to step and kick step and kick okay one more variation and then we will um, get into some Lindy Hop styling um, but a, a nice variation is uh, and I actually just had a friend message me today about it uh, comes from Hank Nagley so this is uh, these are called Nagley's um, in my old DVDs I don't know why over the years I call them Nagels um, even though, so it's Hank Nagley, N-A-G-L-E-Y, and I kept calling them Nagels, and I probably should have been calling them Nagleys because it's Hank Nagley. And it's a, it's a slight variation on the Long Beach break. So the Long Beach break, again, happens on three, three, four, or seven, eight, and so it's just a slight syncopation in the movement where we're gonna do a double kick. So Hank Nagley, would put a double kick. So I'm thinking this cat was seeing everybody like doing the Long Beach break, right? So Hank's seeing everybody go hoopah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he's like, oh man, I want to do this. Oh, did you see it? Ha ha, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. So Hank Nagley would get a double kick in there. In order to do that, I gotta syncopate my feet slightly. So again, for the leaders, I'm gonna go a one, two, three, four, five, six, and get my weight on my right foot and double kick seven, eight, ready for one, two. For the followers, you would be having this happen on the three, four. Followers would go one, two, and three, four, double kick with the left foot, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so watch this again for the followers. I'm gonna turn this way because it happens with your right foot or turn slightly this way. So everybody is stepping on the right and doing a double kick on the left. For the followers, this happens on three, four. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For the leaders, your syncopation happens on and seven eight. So leaders would go one, oh, let me turn this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. Okay, so now here's the options we have. Single step basic, just stepping through. You can step it or you can shuffle it. You can hold on three and seven within that idea. You can hold on four and eight with that idea. You could step and kick on three, four, or seven, eight, as far as the normal patterns go for followers or leaders. Or you can syncopate it and three, four, or and seven, eight for leaders or followers. Now there's a lot you can do with armed with this knowledge as far as 
extrapolating this out to other things with your feet, but I'm going to let you do the math and you figure out other things to do. But for right now, watch Jackie and I dance through this. And we're just going to dance. Just We're not going to particularly call out anything. Every once in a while we'll do basics. Um, actually, uh, um, just basic holding three and seven. But every once in a while, Jackie will do a long beach break or a, a nagley or I'll do a long beach break or a nagley. Now remember, the long beach break is that single step kick, and the nagley is that and kick kick, that little kind of double flick in there. Okay, so let's do this with the music and see how this goes. things sync up as far as the music and uh, the movement goes. So tonight's Balboa lesson was single step, single step holding three and seven, holding four and eight, the long beach break, which is a step kick, and the nagley, which is a and kick kick. And you can play around with it from there. All right. So once again, we're here for Thursday evening swing. If you're liking what you see, or had some nice insights for your dancing, please donate in the description above. Even a dollar really, really helps us out. Uh, hopefully we'll get back to normal soon. Uh, normally on Thursdays here in Spokane, we have a lesson from seven to eight, followed by a two hour social, and we call that Thursday evening swing. And once again, we're very excited to transition Strictly Swing Spokane over to the Northwest Swing Dance Company. We've got all kinds of good stuff planned for you. Um, join our Facebook group, join our like page, join our Instagram, go to our website so you can get on our email list, and all kinds of good stuff is coming your way really soon. Okay, let's shift gears. Unless we have, let me see if there's any more questions. It looks like we're okay. No questions on Facebook land. I don't know what I did to my Instagram feed. Jackie, I don't know if you can fix this. Hi, Dad. I still can't believe you're on Instagram. Okay. Um, I don't know what I did. How do I get rid of the, all the stuff? Oh, okay. All right. So hopefully you, you saw my our feet and all that stuff during all that. Okay. So now, oh, my gosh. I just dropped Instagram. <laughs> Sorry, Instagram, Instagram people. <laughs> Poor Instagram people. I just dropped them. They just saw the, the tabletop. Okay. So now, let me move this a little bit here. Sorry, folks, we're getting used to this whole professional live stream stuff. Oh, question just came in. Tap on six, double kick, seven, eight. Not a tap. I'm actually changing weight. Um, so I am, for a leader, I am going um, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, and, and, I'm putting weight in my right foot on the and, double kicking, seven, eight, All right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. So and is the money maker here. Um, and then for the followers, you're putting your weight down on the and before three, four. So it's, it's the same movement as far as that right foot movement goes, or I should say the right foot stepping and then the left foot kicking. For the followers, that's and three, four, and leaders, and seven, eight. And the and, I'm putting my weight down on the ball of that foot and then releasing the other foot. So hopefully that answers that question. Now, you do bring up a good point, though, um, a nice uh, little variation is instead of stepping down and kick, kick, you can do 
and kick, kick. So there's like this and and then a release. So watch this from this angle. I can tap and so and three four and seven eight rather than and three four and seven eight. So it's the it's the same idea. But again, now you're now Brian, you're doing a variation on the variation. That's good stuff. And like I said, you you can take these ideas and start to play with it in your own dancing. What if what if I do it on the? I'm going to give some stuff away. I'm going to stop talking. But um, yeah, you can take these ideas and run with them. See what feels better in in your body and your movement. You might tweak the styling to something that you you prefer or something that feels better with your movement. And now it's just a variation on the variation. Okay, let's shift gears to the Lindy Hop. Okay, so now giddy up, Lindy Hop time. So now we're gonna use a very fundamental uh, movement. Oh, before I forget, um, I did a class. Oh my gosh, it wasn't this past Monday, it was the week before, and it is on, on YouTube, so that's why in the link for this uh, Facebook feed, I made a, a, a shout out for our Retro Rhythm YouTube channel. Go back to, not this Monday, but the Monday before, whatever that date was. I did a jazz class, but here's what I did. I did something really tricky. I did a jazz class where I put the shim sham steps into the Lindy Hop swing out. So go check out that video. And so right there, right off the bat, like if you have time tonight or this week, go watch that video and you'll have four different styling variations to put into your swing out because we do the shim shim drag step, the push and cross over, the half break and the tacky ante. And we show you how to put that into the swing out and other things. So that'd be the first thing is like, so um, when it comes to Lindy's styling, my first question to anybody is what's your repertoire? What, what's your, your knowledge of jazz steps that you can kind of add in here and there? And today we're going to work with a concept or a movement called a kickball change. And so for um, to be ambifootress again from the front, I can do a kickball change starting with the right foot, kickball change, or with the left foot, kickball change. And ball change is just a fancy word for step, step, right? So if I do that from this angle, so you can see I'm going to kick my right foot, kick, step step so i kick the right step on it underneath me and step on my left foot or if i go with my left foot kick step step so we in the business call this a kick ball change all right and so you can practice on one side or the other so if i practice on my right foot i'm going to go kick ball change kick ball change and when you do that you're staying on that that basic movement. So I keep kicking my right foot. So now to change, this is kind of fun to play with. So get up off the couch, get out of your desk chair, do some kickball changes. And I keep kicking with the right foot. I'm like, okay, I gotta stop doing this right foot kickball change. What do I do? Okay, the first thing is you can stop. Obviously stop. Now I'm gonna do it with my left foot. Kickball change, kickball change. And the nature of the movement, I kick, I kick, step, step, and I repeat the left, kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change. So, again, be ambifootress. Right foot, boop, a boop, a boop. Change it to your left. Left foot, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay? So, now, where that comes into play with just a, a basic movement uh, before I, I, I show you a, a, a tricky thing to do the, the kickball changes over and over, is to uh, replace any any one-two in the in the Lindy swing out with a kickball change. And so for the leaders, you can, instead of doing a stretch scoot the way I teach it, I might do a, a shoot pop-up. So I'm doing that kick, but I'm thinking about hitching back behind me a hoop pop-up. Or I might take that kick to the front, a kick ball change as I move my hips back, a kick ball change. Or I might take it to the side, a kick ball change. Yeah, for the followers, instead of doing a twist twist, you can add that in, a kick ball change. So instead of just doing the swivel on one, two, you can put the kick ball change into your swivel. If you're used to walking in for your swing out, 
You can kick ball change as you move forward. As you get led forward or whatnot, you can also go backwards to kind of get a nice little stretch, kick ball change. So I can have Jackie come in here real quick. So watch one time, leaders. I'm just going to lead three uh, basic swing outs. Um, actually, I'm going to do four basic swing outs. The first one, Jackie's going to do vanilla. Then she's going to do a kickball change on her swivel. Then she's going to do a kickball change kicking straight forward. I'm going to turn this way so you can see that. And then she's going to kick backwards. So basic, kickball change in the swivel, kickball change forward, kickball change back. I'm just going to do a basic leader. So five, six, here we go. Basic. Now she's going to kickball change with the swivel. Swivel and change. Now she's going to kick forward. Kick, ball change. Now she's going to kick back, even though I lead her forward. Whoop, five, five, six, seven, Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do for the leaders, I'm going to do a basic. I'm going to do a kick, ball change, or what I call a hitch kick going backwards. I'm going to do a hitch kick going forward. So basic, I just stretch. Two, three, four, now I'm going to kick ball change seven, backwards. Eight, four, hitch kick. Two, three, four, now I'm going to kick it forward. Seven, eight, kick, ball change. Oh, and one more. I am actually going to kick back. Kick, ball change. Let me explain that, reader. So my hitch kick, I kind of slide my foot back. And I think of this as a stretch ball change versus a kick ball change. So right there, you'll notice we did it independently of each other. I just led four basic swing outs. Jackie did the stylings. Then Jackie did basics, and I did the stylings. Now, you can mix and match this. Um, Jackie can choose to do a kick ball change on the, on the swivel as I do a hitch kick. Or I can do a forward kickball change as she does a backwards kickball change. Um, so there, you can mix it up, but um, for the sake of the class tonight, watch how we're going to do this. We're going to both kickball change forward, just so you can see that dynamic. So we're going to do one basic. Actually, let's turn this way because of the way our, our feet are. Yeah, so now my white shoes look better against here. So <laughs> do a little kick. Yeah. So um, for the sake of where we're at here, Instead of doing a one, two, or a twist, twist, we're both going to kick forward and do a kickball change. But remember, we're connection junkies. Hips are still stretching away as we do the kickball change. But you'll see how neat this looks if we both kick forward. So we're going to do a vanilla swing out and then two kickball change swing outs kicking forward. Okay. Five, six, here we go. Vanilla. Five, two, three, and four. Five, now six, forward seven, kick, ball change, kick, ball change. Again, kick, ball change. Okay, now again, that's for the sake of this class, we're choosing both to kick forward. Now, for the sake of class, we're both going to kick backwards. And leaders, I'm not going to do the stretch ball change because that has a different feel than dynamic. I'm literally going to kick backwards. Jackie's also going to kick backwards. But remember, for the way we like to swing out, I am leading Jackie forward. But, the, but she's going to stretch away as I'm leading her forward. right? But you're going to see this really nice dynamic of a kick, both going backwards, and then the ball change resolving together. So vanilla, two kick ball changes backwards. Five, six, here we go. Basic. Two, three, and four, five, six, Now backwards, seven, eight, kick ball change. You can see that nice stretch five, in the hips, six, right? Seven, yeah, it actually feels really neat. Yeah, and then again, Jackie can choose to kick ball change within the swivel, which to me, I don't even really feel the difference when she does that with the basic. I do feel the difference if she chooses to kick backwards as I'm leading her forward. It just creates a nice little like in the connection here, so it's really nice. Um, but again, we're just using this simple concept of a kickball change to add some texture and styling into your Lindy swing out. Yeah? Okay, so let's see if we have any questions so far. Now, again, if you're not lucky enough to be at home with your significant other or dance partner, um, you, uh, <laughs> yeah, I just want to come down here instead of like, um, then you can do all that stuff on your own. So as a leader, just dance with your invisible partner and do the, your basic swing out. Do the hitch kick. 
do the kickball change forward and do the kickball change going backwards and try to just kind of mimic and try to feel what what you think might happen in that left arm of yours and then followers vice versa have your right arm out just kind of dance with your invisible partner feel that stretch play with kickball changes in your swivel play with a kickball change forward and kickball change back okay any questions Giddy up. looks good <laughs> looks good okay so now let me go into another footwork so uh, we were talking about doing the kickball changes and just kind of practicing kickball change kickball change on your right foot stopping going into kickball change kickball change on your left foot and stopping but now something you can practice and this is our next styling variation is if you want to continue to practice your ambifutris kickball changes i'm going to go kickball change and change weight kickball change and a kickball change and kickball change and kickball change and kickball change your right foot a left foot a right foot a left foot Kick ball change and kick ball change and kick ball change and kick ball change your right foot and left foot right foot and left foot and so this is a really cool pattern watch that from the front I'm going to start with my right foot just for the sake of a starting point and if I repeat kick ball change kick ball change now to change to the other side I'm going to go kick ball change and now my left foot is free for kick ball change kick ball change I want to switch kick ball change and and now I'm back to the right so when I string it together to be ambi footress or more specifically ambi kick ball change it this I go kick ball change and kick ball change and kick ball change and kick ball change there's right and left and right and left kick ball change and kick ball change and kick ball change and kick ball change so you can just put a song on and start playing around with kick ball changes like maybe do four on your right one two three four and switch a one two three four and switch a hop a two a three four and switch in one two three four and switch or two shoot but hop a one a two but hop a one a two but hop a one a two, ba, a one, and one, and one, and one. So you can just really play around with going back and forth. Now, how does this come into play for the Lindy swing out? Well, this is a really cool variation some people will call the scissors, right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to play with this idea of kickball change and kickball change. Now, we just went over adding a kickball change on the one and two. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a kickball change on seven and eight, but then to kind of fix it for our footwork, we're actually going to go seven and eight and one and two. Ah, check it out for the leaders. I'm going to go one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven and eight and one and two. And now I'm ready for the triple step. Watch that again, leaders. Step, step, triple step, 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 kick, ball change, and kick, ball change, triple step. One more time with the count. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, then one, and two, three, and four. For the followers, you will be starting on your right foot. So you would go one, two three and four five six seven and eight and one and two triple step so you would have right left right left right left right kick the left ball change kick the right ball change triple step now i'm gonna have jackie come back out and we're gonna do this together and once again let me tilt this down a little bit are there any questions out there Walter's got the kickball change. Yes! Awesome! In his underwear. Yay, Do not send footage. <laughs> okay, let's get down. I'm going to move the screen down for the Facebook land so you can really see our feet on this one. Okay, so once again, 
I'm going to do a basic, and then two, I'm going to do three basic leaders. Jackie's going to do a basic, and then um, the kickball change on one and two, and then she's going to do the scissors. So you can see how she goes seven and eight and one and two. Okay, so she does a basic. She just does a twist twist. One, two, three. Now she's going to do a kickball change. Seven and eight. One and two. Now. Five, six, seven and eight, and one and two. Three and yeah. Five, six, seven and eight. Good. And leaders, I just did three basics there, but Jackie chose to do vanilla, a kickball change styling, and the scissor styling, or kickball change and kickball change. And now watch for the leaders. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a basic, a kickball change on one and two, and then the scissors. So I do a basic. Three and four, five. Five, now I do a kickball change one and two. Three and four. Now six, seven and eight and one and two. Three and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Yes, and now again for the sake of class, and this one feels really cool when you do it together. It's not mandatory, right? So it's not like you know you're gonna do this with your I mean every once in a while you have those those great moments where you kind of can yeah. tell in the music or something happens together. Or I was going to say, uh, you know, even if you don't know your partner's going to do it, what's really fun in social dancing and partner dancing is Joel might do the scissor kick. I missed it, but then the next time I'm going to do it to try and do like a call and response thing. And then yeah. what's even more fun is Joel's paying attention to the fact that I just did it. And then maybe on the third swing out, we do it together. Do it together. So it's yeah. really fun to just pay attention to what your partner's doing and kind of do a little call and response thing with yeah, so watch when we do it together now. I'm gonna do we're gonna do one vanilla, we'll do vanilla, both scissor, vanilla, both scissor. So we go five, six, seven, eight, vanilla. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh sorry, 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 my my bad, my bad. <laughs> so the very first one's gonna be full, full, full basic, all okay. the way to the last triple step. Got and then again, sorry, so you can see the basic, basic, basic. So we go step, step, triple step, step, step. Triple step. Now we're gonna go five, six, seven, and eight, and one, and two. Basic step, step, triple step. Let's turn this way. So now and again, if you're not with a partner at home, either mimic me as a leader and pretend you're connected, or mimic Jackie as a follower, right? And pretend you're connected. So again, we're gonna do basic, basic step, step, triple step, step, triple. And then the scissors. Five, six, here we go. Basic, One, two, basic. Three and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, two, three, and four. Step, five, six, step, seven, kick, ball, eight, change, and kick, ball, change, triple step. Pop, pop, seven, pop, pop, pop. And you can see we get this nice shaga on the shaga da da. We get this really nice stretch when we do that. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing because, again, you can, we're mirroring each other. Let's see. I'm going to do it with you. But now leaders, and so this is for followers too. I did a, a workshop in, I think it was Buffalo, New York, 2000 and, uh, 2000, 2001. It was uh, Matthias and Osa uh, from Sweden. And they were doing uh, the scissors rhythm, but he just like put a whole nother level on it. So I'm gonna show that at the angle where my back is to you, and again, if you're a follower, you can play with this too. So watch, I'm gonna do a vanilla. I'm gonna do what I would call a, a vanilla uh, scissors, and then I'm gonna do a, like a Swedish swizzers. <laughs> swizzers. <laughs> swizzers. <laughs> Swedish scissors, say that a hundred uh, times fast. Swedish scissors. All right, so pretty extreme, it's like. Vanilla for me yeah, Jackie's just gonna do vanilla. Oh no, she, you can do the kickball change, uh, the, the scissors. Oh, but I'm just gonna, so you can see that from the back. So I'm going to do basic, basic, I come out with a triple step, now I'm going to do vanilla scissors, and now five, six, seven, and eight, and one, and two, again, seven, and eight, and one, and two, vanilla scissors, and the basic triple step. So hopefully you saw the fact that I'm here, and I just did a regular old triple step or i did my kick ball change and kick ball change or you really that's not swedish okay oh my goodness 
Good workout, huh? So much fun tonight. Um, so you can play with all of this goodness as far as styling goes. So, um, I mean, we could obviously do a, do a whole series on, uh, go ahead and share it because it was an hour. Instagram just got kicked off because I think they kick off in an hour. So we're going to wrap things up here. Once again, we're Joel and Jackie Plies, co-owners of the Northwest Swing Dance Company. And so get on our, our mailing list. I, I We'll put a link to all the things, the, the website, the Instagrams, the Facebook like pages, the Facebook group pages. We're really excited to bring more stuff to uh, the Spokane um, Eastern Washington, Western Idaho area. And uh, we want to give a big shout out to Christy and Cody Kerr for creating the most amazing foundation known to man to come in and like have all these great dancers and um, all these great people supporting us in this uh, this next chapter in, uh, in our lives as well. So play with your Balboa footwork. Play with your Lindy styling. We're going to put a voting option for next week on the Northwest Swing Dance Company group page because that's where we can do some polls. We want to give you what you want for the next few weeks as we go live virtually. And eventually, we will get back together in person. And I think we're going to really appreciate the opportunity to dance together again. Yeah. And if you're brave enough, please post video on our Northwest Swing Dance Company Facebook page of you guys dancing at home. We would love to see what you guys are learning. Um, just, yeah, it's a Balboa thing, solo stuff, whatever. Um, maybe we'll even chime in and give a little feedback if you want it. But um, it'd be great to see you guys what you're doing because we yeah. can't see you. <laughs> yeah, so this is really weird for, for me. Like, I've been... Jackie's been telling me to do like this video stuff for years. I'm like, nope, I'm not gonna do it. I'm an in-person kind of guy. Thanks, COVID. <laughs> no. Forcing my car to do this virtually. So thank you very much. Thank you for coming to Thursday evening swing. We'll see you next week. Night night. We're crazy about you. And donate, please, if you can. Donate if you can. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye, everybody.